Sanders and uh, talk, have him talk a little bit about the role of making positive claims about who God is, something distinctive, uh, may, or at least common amongst open theists. John? Well, <clears throat> one of the criticisms of open theism is that we reduce God to human proportions. And so we turn God into a really big human being. And in particular, I've, I've come in contact recently with continental philosophers. And they look at, at open theism and, and even process thought and just, you know, it's just bad for them. Um, as well as those from the apophatic uh, tradition. So here's some things I have to say that. <clears throat> First of all, in terms of historical location, we are working out of our particular theological traditions to see if we can cope with certain problems. Perhaps our proposal as a solution will not work. But one cannot object to trying to answer the question. Secondly, existential relevance. We're trying to understand the nature of human conceptions of God within the confines of language. We are attempting to understand how it is meaningful to pray and worship our our God, given these limitations. Third, we believe in positive content. In this respect, we speak of God as being relate, as relating to us in ways that we can comprehend. There is more to God than we can understand. There is excess, or as continental philosophers would put it, abundance. But we want to say that there is an actual reference to our language beyond the community using the language. Some continental philosophy denies that we can have any positive content. But denying positive content would be to reject our particular pious, pietistic, and theological traditions. And continental philosophers don't want you to reject your own tradition. Fourth, reductionism in two directions. We reject both the absolute apophatic approach and the approach that reduces God to creaturely status. <coughs> that is, uh, some people say God is only found in other creatures. We affirm the transcendence of God beyond creatures and our own language. If there's no transcendence, then you're not in, for instance, the evangelical tradition. And finally, consistency. We think of open theism as an attempt to address some problems in the free will theistic tradition between our understanding of God and our worship practices. To that end, we seek to be faithful to the biblical materials, constant with the core values of the free will tradition, as well as philosophically consistent. Thanks, John. John Cole. Oftentimes, uh, 